let's uh, let's open it up and solve a murder. This is a recipe for murder. The mystery puzzle is one where you don't know what the final picture is going to be. It's not on the box, so this is not what the puzzle is gonna is gonna look like. It comes with a story that you read first, and then you do the puzzle, and then the, the, doing the puzzle uh, should help you solve the mystery. So this is the third one that I've done of these. They've all been kind of bananas. The, so the brief synopsis of this puzzle, of this murder mystery, is that there is a dinner party of these prominent like chef uh, type people, chefs, uh, food critics, that kind of thing. And one of them is unwanted at the party, no one likes him, and then he's mysteriously poisoned. And one of the party guests is a cop, and so he has to figure out who the murderer is. And by having this uh, short interrogation with all of them, he knows who's lying. He's figured it out. So I have no idea what this is supposed to be of, um, but yeah, let's uh... Let's open it up and solve a murder. <laughs> so day two of the mystery puzzle. So when you're doing a mystery puzzle, you don't know what the picture is. The box doesn't help you. So you start with the frame like usual, but it's more difficult because like I said, you don't know the, the orientation of the sides of the frame. So usually I just, you know, start doing the frame in separate lines and then I kind of just see you you know, you can eventually figure out where they connect and you set up the frame. Then once the frame is done, I kind of just look to see if there's like a specific pattern or something that I can start with. So here I started with this, what appears to be some kind of towel, <laughs> um, very distinct colors. And I just went through and picked out all of those colors. I don't want to spoil exactly what the, what the picture is going to be, because if you want to do the mystery puzzle, you know, you want to keep it a mystery for yourself too. The, the normal strategy of dividing the pieces into separate color piles still works here. Yeah, I do start with like with the colors on the frame, but then as I'm going through, if I see another color that doesn't attach to the frame, but there's a lot of it, like I'll separate that out too. It's just easier to like separate your pieces like that. And you can leave, I usually leave the pieces that are more solid. Like most of these in here now that are left are just brown, just different shades of brown. And so I'll leave those to last when I, have more of an idea of what I'm what I'm making. So the puzzle is going. I've got I would say like half of it done pretty much. I was finding some difficulty uh, with the other half of the puzzle that I haven't done, haven't finished yet. <laughs> you can see here my uh, my green puzzle mat uh, peeks through. The parts that I have done first that I found easy was like, you can kind of tell what the specific image is. So like, maybe there's a bottle of something on in the picture. <laughs> so you can kind of like tell, okay, this is going to be a bottle. So I can find all these pieces that look like this and, and put it together. So the things like that, that are uh, definitely a specific item that you can tell uh, what it is. It's it's obviously a lot easier to, to get those pieces done. So now I'm at the part where the frame seems to just be brown or uh, a beige color. There, there's no like specific item that I can see, so I'm kind of just like getting all of the brown pieces and all the white pieces and just kind of like going through and, and, and just trying to put them together right now. So I finished the puzzle. I did actually guess who the murderer was, which I'm very proud of myself for because this is the third mystery puzzle I've done. And I always had no idea. <laughs> the image of this puzzle, it's hard to like talk about it without just saying that it's terrible. Because <laughs> I do genuinely enjoy doing these puzzles, but I also understand that they're very cheesy and 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 silly. The the pictures, the picture itself, like very clearly has been put together by like a computer or something. None of the images are in proportion uh, to each other. <laughs> <laughs> you might have like a, a, a book or something on the table that is like 10 times the size of a wine glass. <laughs> but yeah, I, uh, I, do, I do enjoy these puzzles. I, I, they're, they're a good time uh, as long as you understand that when you finish it, you're going to be like, what? <laughs> yeah, so I had to reread the mystery again. To, once I finished the puzzle, I had to reread uh, the, the story again to see if I could figure out who, 
what what the what the answer was for sure. I had my suspicions, uh, and rereading it uh, and then matching what is in the picture <laughs> was just like <laughs> these are so wild. I don't understand who writes these stories, but it's it's entertaining for sure. Like the the answer for this one, because so again the other two their answers I never got. They were just completely wild. Uh, this one um, I did get, but the answer was like two pages long. <laughs> and uh, they, they really upped the drama. I think all puzzles are pretty rewarding, no matter how foolish they are or even how easy they are. You always get that like sense of accomplishment of finishing it and even just putting pieces together. Every time I pick up a piece out of, out of the box and on the first try put it where it's supposed to go, I feel like I'm like amazing. It's, a, it's always a nice proud moment, especially, you know, when you're in a time where there's not a lot going on. I found like, and I think I said this in one of the updates that the first half of the puzzle that I did was was pretty easy because it had a lot of specific pictures that I could tell like these were all, all these pieces went. But then the other half, there's a lot of the same color, and so that always makes it a bit more difficult. But even that uh, wasn't too bad with this puzzle. The it's you know your normal grid a jigsaw puzzle, so the pieces fit together well. There's no like mistaking it. There's no like oh does this piece go here? I can't tell. Um, everything is, yeah, definitely where it's supposed to go. A rating out of 10 for this puzzle. It's gonna be hard because I, I didn't really pay attention to how I was rating the other ones. <laughs> I would say probably a 7 because it was a bit more difficult than like the butterfly puzzle because it has a lot of the same color. So like for difficulty uh, and like it being interesting to do, I would say that uh, story-wise I would probably say a 4. <laughs> How often do you write, write puzzles along story-wise lines? <laughs> it is a puzzle and a story, so I think I, I think I would definitely like to do more of these because they are just such a silly time. So any mystery puzzle people out there want to send me your puzzles, I'm I'm open to.